Hello and welcome back to all of our fellow adventurers. Today we are at the High Shoals Falls Trail. This is a beautiful river and a couple of waterfalls, nice hike. It is just southwest of Hickory, North Carolina. When you drive in, you'll drive all the way to the end of the road and there's a nice large parking area and it's a good thing because this is a very popular place. It, it fills up and if you arrive too late you could have a hard time parking as you enter the trail there are a number of places for picnics they've got tables and things laid out and as you move up the trail you'll see that there are plenty of signs and information spots along the way they've done a really good job of laying out this park uh, it's a it's a nice trail good information actually there's a lot of trails as you're going to see now one of the things that I like to do is get off of the trails and go hike the river now I do understand that this is a habitat for animals and so I'm very careful when I walk these rivers and if, if you get off the trail and walk the rivers like this just be aware of where you're stepping and and just be careful not to wreck habitat. But by getting off of the trail, hiking the rivers like this, you get to see a perspective that far too few people get to see. Now along the way, you'll see that they've got mountain bike trails and it's all laid out and the signs are there uh, you'll see forks along the way to where you can go right or left and, and explore different parts and it, ultimately the main trail forms a huge loop and it brings you right back to the parking lot they do have a couple of pretty good lookouts to where you can walk out on the boardwalk and look down at the river and You'll see there are places where the children are swimming and splashing around. People take their dogs out there. It's a, it's a good opportunity to have a great time. This river is just majestic. It is so clear and clean and cool. But it's a beautiful place with a lot of opportunity to just sit and hang out and enjoy the view. Enjoy the sound of the water rushing down. Enjoy nature. As you move up the river, there are places where you have the water moving faster, and then of course you have the pools of water like this. And from time to time, you'll see little fish. I never saw any larger fish, but it's full of little fish. Let me tell you, some of these jumps that I had to do, trying to keep the camera steady and not fall in the water, it was tricky, but hopefully you enjoy the view. As you move up, there's just one pool of water after the other. Big, huge boulders, trees, sunshine. It just never gets old. Now the lower trail up to this wooden bridge and boardwalk area is pretty nice. Uh, it's, it's smooth, it's, it's a really easy walk. At some point the trail becomes a lot more rugged. There's a lot of uh, rocks and roots and steps. Oh my god, you better like climbing stairs because there are plenty of stairs. Wood stairs, rock stairs, any kind of stairs you want you're going to get a chance to climb some stairs before you get up to the main waterfall. Now in editing this video, we had a hard time because there's a lot of it that looks kind of the same and it 
creates for a long video, but we are so in love with this place it was hard to cut anything out. You wouldn't believe how much we've already cut out to get a video this short. But we just wanted to share it all. Hopefully you're enjoying the view. As you cross that wooden boardwalk, there is a really nice waterfall area. Now, we like to get out early. We, talk, we like to beat a lot of the crowds. And so this area here, we had it mostly to ourselves when we got here. And so we were able to hang out and enjoy the waterfall in the little pool area. Later on in the day, as, as the people, as the crowds come, you see a lot of people out here walking around, waiting around in that little pool area, enjoying the waterfall, enjoying themselves. If you don't mind joining the crowd, then you can hang out with them. We kind of like to uh, have the place to ourselves. All right, more of those stairs that I talked about. As you can see, the lower trail, you could, you could go up that with a baby stroller without too much difficulty. Uh, as you get up here though, it gets a lot more challenging. But you climb those stairs and that brings you to the main High Shoals Falls. And this is a nice waterfall. This was early summer, so wasn't high water, but there was a sufficient amount of water for it to come down and just get the chance to enjoy the beauty of a waterfall. Uh, Yuli and I love waterfalls, so for us, there's no such thing as a bad waterfall. There were enough people here that out of respect for the area and the other people, I never went out there to the waterfall. I stayed up on the boardwalk, but it was uh, well, it's still an opportunity to see, uh, enjoy, get a good view of it. Now, when you come back down, uh, just from the waterfall, there's an opportunity to take the trail off to the right. Like I said earlier, that takes you up over the hill, loops around back to the parking lot. It's a nice hike, but Yulia and I just enjoyed this river so much that we decided to hike back down, stay near the river, and just, uh, just enjoy it for a little bit longer. We, after that long hike, we were tired. You can see Yulia just sitting down, chilling out, enjoying the day. And you find yourself anywhere in the central North Carolina area, this is worth going over. It's, it's a beautiful hike. One of our favorite places to go and visit here in North Carolina. Well, we certainly do hope that you've enjoyed seeing High Shoals Falls and the trail and the, and the river. We hope you get an opportunity to come visit this place and see it for yourself in person. Until our next adventure, we hope you are doing well and thank you for watching.